Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start this video with NASA's Perseverance Mars rover update. Rock core sample number 13 collected, as you can see from those pictures. The plan to get another one from this area. Parco 9 and Dragon are ready. All systems are looking good for launch of the Crew 5 mission tomorrow. Launch window opens at 4 p.m. UTC with a backup opportunity available on Thursday, October 6th at 3.38 p.m. UTC. And if the launch of Crew 5 stays on track for tomorrow, SpaceX team will stand down from today's launch attempt of the Starlink mission from Vandenberg Space Force Base Launch Complex 4. We have a nice view of the second orbital launch integration tower and the legs of the orbital launch mount. And talking about the orbital launch mount, at Starbase, SpaceX team working on the orbital launch mount preparation for future static fire tests for Booster 7 and 9. I'm not sure about Booster 8. You can see here how they are using the big metal plate to attach it with one of the clamps and connect the crane with this hole in the middle of the metal plate and doing some load testing with the crane for one clamp to get the data regarding how much one clamp can hold so they can have the number and the data for all the clamps to calculate if they can fire all 33 engines at once and the clamps can fix the booster during firing the engines without seeing any in scheduled liftoff. At the build site inside the high bay, we can see Ship 26 Nosecon being stacked this morning, all thanks to La Padre for the amazing 24 7 live coverage around Starbase. Atlas 5 rocket launched today from Space Launch Complex 41, carrying SES 20 and SES 21 satellites. This is liftoff. Three and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SES 20 and 21 for SES, the leading provider of global content connectivity solutions. This is the Boring Company Proof Rock 2 in action, captured by Elon. Got a little X, Steve, got Saxon, and uh, we have a phone party. <laughs> What happened on this day in space history? 65 years ago, October 4, 1957, Sputnik rocket launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome SIT-1, carrying the first artificial Earth satellite Sputnik 1, transmitting signals for 21 days and completing 1440 orbits before the batteries ran out. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you later.